Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm looking at the brand new 2022 Micro Machines Series 1 number 1 pack. This looks amazing. If you notice on the right hand corner at the top, we have Chevrolet. That's right, we have licensed vehicles. Now in series, I believe it's 3 through 6 of the normal Micro Machines line, we have been getting a lot of licensed vehicles and now we have our first film franchise license of Transformers, which I do have almost all of those as well. So I have a lot to cover this summer. So enough of me yapping, let's get to today's review. All right, let's take a quick look at the box. So on the top right corner, we have Chevrolet, we have Micro Machines. Then on the right hand side, we have Series 1, number one, and our blister with the two cars. I love the Cadillac with that red and green. Can't wait to look at that. Now, there is no inserts anymore. On the back, we have a Scan Me. You take a photo of that, and then you can look at the checklist for Series 1 to 4 at this time. Then we have all our copyright crap. All in all, very nice. So let's crack this bad boy open. All right, I guess you guys really wanted to hear that sound. I know a lot of people wanted me to start opening these packs on camera. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. Uh, because all these toy companies are going, you know, green, uh, there's no more paper inserts or anything like that. It's just bare minimum plastic, the cars, and a tiny little piece of paper with the name of the car on there. Pretty decent packaging. I'll always miss the inserts with a checklist, but not bad. All right, up first, we have the 1950 Chevrolet Bel Air Wagon. This has five colors, main color of yellow, black, silver, white and red and I love the white wheel wells really awesome now I love the curves on here and for the size it's under one and a half inches or just under three and a half centimeters all in all a nice shape I know it's a little hard to see because it's yellow and white but well done having a closer look we could see the beautiful curves on here in the 50s these were standard, you know, a lot of people had cars with the rounded edges, such as like a Ford, but this is nice, and I love the paneling we see for all the doors and hinges, great stuff. The windows are all slightly recessed in, which is great. We can see all the miniature details. This is good, and I have to say, it if it had a, maybe a black wash, so we could see all these details better, it would be a million times more detailed because we would be able to see everything, but look at the front grill here. Everything's there. The molding is perfect on here. It's just a little hard to see. And you know, I'm zoomed in, you could see my fingerprints, my nails, little details. So it's just, it's hard to see the detail on there. And even the back, you could see nice panel lines, the bumpers done. We could even see a spot for the uh, license plate there. All in all, it's pretty damn good. I like this quite a bit. You can see it around the top and then on the bottom, guess what? We have copyright crap. Ugh, can't escape it. <laughs> but a nice car nonetheless. So the question is, does it roll? Yes. And up next, we have the 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This has five colors. Red, green for the windows, silver, white on those wheels, and black. I love this. And even though it's a Cadillac, it does remind me of the 1958 Plymouth Fury from the horror film Christine. Anyway, for the size, it's about one and a half inches or a tad over three and a half centimeters. All in all, I love the design of this bad boy. So having a closer look, the design on here is awesome. Of course, we have our line work for the doors and just look at the hood all the way around we got these beautiful curves great angles and the fins at the back fantastic you can see on the sides we have our wheels they roll pretty well the windows are slightly recessed in they look great with that green paint very unique i love the shape of this now i'm more of a fan of i would say 80s vehicles but this is pretty cool looking you can see the tail lights on the back the trunk Everything's molded here, which is amazing. Even spots for the license plate. You can see the hood looking good. 
and the front. Oh, look at the detail on here. Beautifully done. This looks amazing with the white for the headlights. Great stuff. It really is. And then on the bottom, of course, you guessed it, we have copyright crap. So let me turn it over so we can read it. And there you go. The wheels spin. Looking great. This is an awesome piece. But does it roll? Absolutely. And now for a quick size comparison with the 2022 Series 1 2-pack. First, on the right-hand side, we have the Series 1 garbage truck. Then we have our 2-pack with our Cadillac and also the Bel Air wagon. And finally, on the left-hand side, we have the classic pickup. All in all, we got some great-looking vehicles here. And that does it today for my review of the 2022 Micro Machine Series 1 number 1 2-pack. In this pack, we have a 1950 Chevrolet Bel Air wagon and also a 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, which I have to say that Cadillac is one of the best micro machines I have in my collection for the new run. I think this looks great. I love the fins, the front looks amazing, the paint is decent, and I love the green they chose. For some reason, it's just screaming Christine to me, you know, the possessed car even though it's not the same car at all. One's a Plymouth and this is a Cadillac, but regardless, pretty cool. The wagon is also very nice. If you can find this, I do recommend it. Now, these cars both have very nice detailing. Everything's there that should be. They're painted well. And the only gripe I might have if I had to nitpick would be that sometimes the lines for say doors or the paneling are sort of lost in the sauce, especially when you have a car like the wagon, which is a very bright yellow. Sometimes it's hard to see the lines for the door and the hood and the trunk and all that stuff, but it is there. You know, this company does a good job at reproducing these vehicles in miniature scale. So I do like what they're doing and I can't wait to see all the other vehicles, especially when we get to the transformer ones. So having said all that, on the whole, I am very happy with this two-pack. I think it has some great vehicles in there. And if you're a fan of miniatures, model cars, or micro machines in general, I fully recommend picking it up. I found mine at my local Target, so I recommend checking those stores first. So that's everything I have to say about this two-pack today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you'd like to see new videos every week, subscribe. Again, to all of you out there, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.